Can you please get murdered on a different road? I'm trying to feel... What's in its pockets is? I am so glad you asked. Give me a sec. Mask. Lip balm. Keys. <laughs> Scare clover teeth for political reasons. Snail friend. <clears throat> Rocks. ELM sticker from Taylor to You Creations. Back pocket now. Hanky. Teeny tiny little birch notebook in case I have to write something down. Here's a doodle for my first live stream. Teeny tiny pencil the dnd dice.com sent me. The heck is that? <laughs> it's a flashlight. It felt the rubbery part. <laughs> Fire! One spoon. Measuring tape. Tiny pot. Piffy, but cannot show that on screen. Vial of salt, because you never know. Acorn. Wonder if the squirrel t shirt was looking for this. D20. And a bit of pretty silk ribbon in case I have to trade. Oh, wait. Pinche. And that's what's in my pockets is. <laughs> Four men are at a high school reunion catching up when one of them had to go to the bathroom. The other three start talking about how successful their sons are. My son is so successful. He owns a car dealership and just gave his best friend a Ferrari. That's nothing. My son owns an airliner and just gave his best friend a private jet. Yeah, well, my son is more successful than that. He owns an architectural firm and he just gave his best friend his own castle. The fourth guy comes back from the bathroom and asks, what are you guys talking about? Oh, we're talking about how successful our sons are. Well, my son is a gay stripper. Wow, you must be disappointed with what he's done with his life. Actually, he's doing pretty well for himself. He just got a Ferrari, a jet, and a castle from his three boyfriends. We're having Christmas at my house this year, right? Three months out, my cousin calls me to discuss her son, my cousin's son, which makes him someone I couldn't give a fuck about. Anyway. <laughs> She calls me up, the first thing she says, you don't even see hello, the first thing she says is, Brayden can't have blue. <laughs> what the fuck? Brayden can't eat blue foods. Apparently this kid, if he eats anything with a blue food preservative in it, he just, <laughs> just taps out. That is bullshit. <laughs> Firstly, don't call your kid Brayden. <laughs> Secondly, blue is not even a natural colour for foodstuffs. It occurs very rarely in nature. Name me one blue food. Blueberry. Blueberries are fucking purple! Ranking the zodiac signs based on how bitter they get watching my ranking videos, okay? If you can take a joke, and if you like astrology content, hit the red plus bit. Get into it.
bottom of the pack would be Gemini, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. I typically favor them, yes, but that's because Gemini's, Sagittarius's, and Scorpio's always get so much hate, but also they're very self-aware, so when I give them a bad ranking, they know that it's fair. Following up that would be Virgo, Cancer, and Capricorn, mostly self-aware queens, so when I read them for filth, they're not mad about it, and if I give them a low ranking, they're not gonna go crying to the mama. Our top six would be Taurus, Aries, and Pisces. Listen, they always expect a better ranking than I give them, but honestly, they never deserve it, so deal with it. Top three would be Aquarius and Libra. Anytime I post a ranking and they're low, they're like, you don't get us or understand us. Yes, sweetie, I do. You just don't know how to follow through like everyone else does, okay? Number one is Leo. Leo thinks they can do everything, but they can't, and that's why y'all get low rankings sometimes. Deal with it. A civil war cake. Of course it uses lard. Why not? <laughs> Honey, call the police. Two cups of raisins. It's always the raisins. Add one egg of lard. What are you feeding your chickens? You happy? Sister. Ah, fire! A cup of coffee. No. One cup of coffee. This is a misdemeanor. I think I've summoned something. Brown sugar. Eggy. Lord. What do you want me to do with this? They called the CDC. This is the South's revenge. Ah, flour. Apples. Add nuts. I, how much? I need nut instructions. Simonin. Woo. Smells deceased. Uh, Seems to have collapsed like the South. Tastes damp. Wet. Damn! Did y'all see how far she jumped off the porch? If you don't jump your ass into an Olympic arena, bitch, where the f he come from? And who did he rob for these Yeezy Red October? How are you like three years old and already going gray? Karma's a bitch, ain't a thief. Look, it's this motherfucker Swiper off the rip! Swiper never shows up unless Boots and Dora are together. And Swiper don't have no shoes. <gasps> Swiper ain't the fucking bad guy! It's Boots, bitch ass! Swipe just trying to get his shoes back! How you steal somebody else's shoes and then nickname yourself Boots? Fuck this dude, Boots! But look at this eye contact. But then look at how Boots- Look at Boots check out Dora Cake like that! <laughs> Look at this vine though! Look at this vine! Who's holding them up? God? Is this some pole dancing shit? Who the hell is that dirty ass Aladdin? Do my pair of pranking pumpkins. Mission Ultimate Toad Destruction is most certainly underway. I have infiltrated the catastrophic Cretin's quarters and charmed all of her shoes to only walk backwards. Perhaps a poetic mirroring of her backwards way of thinking. I have also placed a new supply of puking pastels and stink bombs under your bed. Use them well, but please consider how and when you use them. I don't want to have to suffer the consequences. Do have fun and don't get caught. Happy pranking and kind regards. The Cat in the Hat. P.S. This letter will self-destruct after reading, so take six steps back. I love those boys. To all you guys out there that say women should not be in the army, are you seriously saying that a girl on her period, armed with a gun, is not the scariest fucking thing you could ever think of? Girls are unstoppable. <laughs> Someone help me with the balloons? Balloons are such a strange tradition. Like, happy birthday, here's a rubber sack of my breath. Ew. If two mind readers read each other's mind, whose mind are they reading? If you drop a bar of soap on the floor, is the soap dirty or is the floor clean? Yo, what? I really just need help with the- Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. Please don't do this. You have more ancestors than all your ancestors. Horses run around on their fingernails. Come and Ari, please. I don't know how much more of this Todoroki kun can take. You can see the smoke from his overheating brain. He's going to catch fire. Butter is food lotion. You've done it. He broke him. Jinzo, please come get your mans. Food lotion. Animal group names that make me believe there is good in the world. A group of wild rabbits is scientifically called a fluffle, and I don't care what toxic masculinity says, if I think something's cute, I'm gonna call it cute, and this is freaking adorable. A group of ferrets is called a business, which means I can finally use this picture without it being out of context. A group of vultures is awake, and I can't tell if this is a coincidence or a sick joke. A group of porcupines is a prickle. A prickle of porcupines. 
Group of sloths is referred to as a snuggle. I don't know what they pay the naming guy, but it's not enough. A gang of armadillos is a roll. A bunch of platypus is called a paddle. Also plurals platypuses, platypi for fake intellectuals, and platypi people are for anyone of culture. A group of kittens is a kindle. A group of crows is called a murder. Oh, jeez. A group of ravens is an unkindness. Google it if you don't believe me. A gathering of larks is called an exaltation. We started off strong, but now y'all just saying shit. A group of rattlesnakes is called a Roomba. Okay, we're back on track. A group of parrots is called a pandemonium, and considering how mean these feather bastards can be, I agree. At last, the process of an alpaca giving birth is called an unpacking. If that doesn't bring light to your soul, you probably don't have one. Follow me on Instagram, please. Dad, I'm not having this. This is bullshit. We're not moving house. What the fuck do you mean we're moving house? Fuck! Good evening, cunt. What's this? Push up! Move us now! In Soviet Russia, house moves you! Ah! We are moving location? Whatever the fuck is do you mean? <laughs> Allah! El has moved no! Right, Bob, I'm ready. Where are we off to? Fucking England, do you care? Taking a picture of you. Taking a picture of, taking a picture of me. Taking a picture. All my lovers are fake and stuck between